So for years, our customers have been requesting a client that do does not require as much IT investment. However, they wanted it to have the same functionality as a thick client. With the release of WriteFax 16.4, FactUtil Web is a web-based client that has all the same functionality of the original FactUtil. The benefit of this new web client is that it allows for a reduction of the required effort to support WriteFax on hundreds or sometimes thousands of desktops. This is perfect for any organization that wants to reduce the amount of client software they have to manage. The web admin feature was introduced in 16.2 but continues to be available in 16.4. With the new web admin, you will have support for all browsers and mobile devices with the same functionality as EFM. Please note that this cannot be accessed using Internet Explorer 10, but you're safe as long as you use an HTML5 compliant browser. Users will also see that it, it is able to re replicate the existing thick client in your WriteFax environment while replacing the legacy web EFM tool. Again, this cuts down on client software and allows administrators to manage the WriteFax system from anywhere. OpenText has created the ability to update and register all MFPs to simplify the process of managing and centralizing an organization's entire fleet of MFPs. Additionally, users will have more delegation control and the ability to download event logs to ease troubleshooting. OpenText shows commitment to enhancing the administrator's tool set for WriteFax by incorporating these additional web admin features. Okay, now we'll do a brief demo of the WriteFax FactUtil web and the WriteFax web admin. So as you can see from the screen, there is now a new entry level to all the WriteFax web apps. It is just called WriteFax. So in this case, we're going to the URL of the server name slash WriteFax. It brings you right to this top level website. And from here I have access to do just about almost all my web admin. So let's start with the button that says Web Client, which brings us to the FactUtil Web. So as you can see, very similar to the thick client. You have your, your um, folders to the left, your all main and trash. You have your fax lists here. Right now I only have one fax. Let's take a look. So double click brings you right in. And you have your tools for viewing. So you can zoom out, zoom in. So I'm going to zoom out. Your rotation tools, annotation tools along here. You also have the ability, just like in the thick client, from the fax itself to route it, forward it, print it using a server print, obviously delete. You can add it to the library, add it to a form, you can add comments, and you can view what change status is here. I'm going to exit out. Next thing we're going to look at is sending a new fax. So if I go new fax here, again, very similar to the thick client. I have the ability to put in a, a, a two name, which is required in most cases, not always, but in this case it is, a destination, and other information that goes on the cover sheet, such as voice number, company. You also have the ability to change your cover sheets, view a cover sheet, add a comment for your record. Here's your attachments area where you can either choose a library document or browse for a file, and you also have your billing codes here. You could send it at this point, or you can go into your more advanced options. Let me add the recipient first and show you. So it says one recipient, and you can add additional. In this case, I'll go into my options now, and I can decide if I want to do a delay send. I want to do a certified delivery, or maybe a hold for preview. I also have some conversion settings here, just like in the thick client, automatic delete, and, and my priority. On this side, you have the ability to change cover sheet information from the front field. Usually that is pre-populated from AD, but if you wanted to at a one time change a name, you'd have the ability to do that here, just like, again, the thick client. So they did a great job of, of mimicking the feature set of the thick client on the uh, FactUtil web. So let's cancel out of here. You also have phone books. I'll click on phone books. You'll see that you can create a new phone book. You can edit or delete. There was nothing here to show you, but if I had, I could do it. And then you have your ability to change your delegates and also change your settings, all from this client, all from the web client. Let's go to home now, and let's go into the new web admin. 
Now, what's different about the web admin and the EFM is the entryway now brings you right to the dashboard. So there's a, always a slight delay while it builds out your dashboard. And the dashboard's pretty neat. It shows you what's going on with your faxes to see your channels, to see your work requests, CPU usage, fax by volume and queues. So you can get a good feel of what's going on in real time with your fax server right from here. This is the always when you come in, it'll bring you to the dashboard. You have the ability to look at your channels in real time, just like the EFM, and you'll see what the channel's doing. Is it sending, receiving? You can get information about the fax coming in, such as the remote ID and the, the rate of the fax, usually 14.4, and the route code that either Eva sent or received. Your services, just like the thick client, you can highlight them and stop and start. So you would click them and you can then stop, start, or restart. You can sort by status, running time, or startup. Everyone's familiar with users here, so this is just like the users in EFM where you can highlight a user, by checking it, hitting edit. And now you can go in and have the ability to do all the things you could do from the thick client, such as change the user ID or username, link it to your domain account, change your routing code and your route type and, route and file formats. You also have the ability to change groups. Really just about everything you can do from the thick client you can do from here. Same thing with groups. I only have one so I can click edit and you will see very familiar. There's your notifications, your cover sheets, all the things you do from EFM. Your auto aging, very easy to do mimics it perfectly and all the other things does a work going down signatures forms printers some of the other things I want to show you while I'm in here that might be a little different is now you have the ability to view the event log directly from web EFM which is really nice so you can see and again you can sort them by date and time source message you can filter on errors or warnings or information you also have the ability to do your dialing rules so if I do new dialing rule, I have the ability to create a dialing rule with all the same function set as the thick client. And what's new now is the ability to do your MFPs right from here. So you have the ability now to import, maybe check your licenses, and even configure the EDC. So the common theme is centralized administration. In previous versions of WriteFax, we'll say pre-16.2 especially, you needed three different utilities to basically do certain things. You needed the fax utility to the delegates, you needed the EFM for basic generic administration, and then you needed the EDC module for your MFPs. Now you could do everything from the web EFM. You can do change your user information, you could look at your channels in real time, that's not new, but you can now download the event log or look at the event log, do your MFPs directly from one interface. So it makes it a little easier. I, I think it's just a, a, a little bit of a smoother interface, not having to worry about going to different clients and different web clients to do different administrative functions. I'll go back to the home now, and I'll mention real quickly, there is a, a little in analytics tool that you would enter from here, and also the ability to change which server you're working on right from here.